Hello, good morning. It is Monday. It's Monday the 18th of March. We've passed the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March. Um, and, and it's nearly spring equinox time, isn't it? It's nearly the time when we all go, winter is finished. Okay, weather. Stop raining and stop being so cold and shiz. Six months it's been raining. Like, that's how I feel. I need a holiday. I just want to go somewhere. We'll probably end up going to uh, Paris, like, soon because all the Bacons are on and I follow a load of people that do, like, um, that, like, live in Paris and they, they like, do the, the markets and, and I'm looking at it going... <sighs> So I do kind of, mm, a Paris soon. A Paris in the, I do love Paris in the springtime. I've never been to Paris in the springtime. But uh, yeah, I think that needs to be, that needs to be done soon, doesn't it? Just for something to do. I've been very like, this week. Anyways. Um, oh, come on, Chizuma, come on up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come say hello. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give me my little wiggly girl. Come here. We have nice cuddles in bed, don't we? She's a very snuggly girl at night. Aren't you? Yes. No, run away. Okay. Um... Right, what else has happened this weekend? Oh, I had an amazing day on eBay on Friday, quite randomly. Um, £596 on a Friday. Completely bizarre. And then an okay-ish day on Saturday. And then a relatively rubbish day yesterday. How much did I do yesterday? Yeah, £100 on a Sunday. I know it all levels out and that's all cool. But my, my graph looks like, like a, yeah. A meth heads two thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay to say, isn't it? None of you meth heads are gonna get insulted, are you? It's fine. Um but yeah, just uh, like how like say so where did that come from? What earth was going on there? Um but that was obviously quite cool. Um, today I've got 17 orders going out on the bay and two on Etsy. That is Saturday, Sunday stuff because I did my Friday stuff, set that up Saturday morning. Um, so yeah, that's two days worth of orders. It's all right, you know. Um, it would be even better except I, I bought a load of stuff over the weekend. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, um, I did a whatnot show yes. Oh, what else did I do over the weekend? I went went out on Saturday. Um, like saw friends and stuff. Went out, got a little bit tipsy, but you know, it's, it's all right, and I'm allowed. Um, and then yesterday did a whatnot show, uh, which was it was good fun. I wasn't. I got this little bag and I bought it off eBay, and I pretty much could see some of the things in there. I was like, oh, there's some like nice looking costume vintagey bits in there um but you know you only kind of see the top bit don't you and then got it and said like, oh there's there's some all right bits and i think people you know so i put it on the whatnot and people were like oh yeah that's good cool and then i found a bangle and um i was like oh that's quite cool and right? that bit might be like bake light or something and i quite and it's and it's got like bits in it and then it might actually be a yakka bangle. Yeah, yakka bengal bangle. <laughs> it's a bengal bangle. Um, so I was like, no, no one's having this. And this is mine. So I will show you that in a bit and what makes me, us, think that it might be a yakka bangle. Um, and also thank you to Leanne who sent me a picture this morning from her book. Because she's got a different book to the one that I've got. Um, of one that, that has got like uh, similar kind of elements to it, which is pretty cool. So exciting stuff um and yeah i was gonna do like a big unboxing because I, I had like one box to unbox and whatnot and then i planned for another box 
Um, and that's still not arrived. And I'm still looking at the tracking now going, it's still in Cardiff. I'm like, it's been in Cardiff for like four days now in their sorting office. So I don't know what's happening to that, whether it must be like the box is broken and it's going to be returned or something. Because that's not, that's not normal. Poo. Never mind. Anyways, I'm going to cuddle the kitten some more. Because she, she's very cuddly in the morning, aren't you? You're very cuddly. Yeah, you like the scratches. Oh, they're not good scratches. Oh, that's good. Um... I'll get my orders together, show you what's going out, and um, and then I think I have a plan for the rest of the day, I think, possibly. Okay, let's do what's going out, what's going out, what's going out. Um, all to the same person, uh, they're having um, this cute little bumblebee on a little wreath, there's a little bumblebee in there, um, it's kind of shark's tooth chunky necklace and then this vintage one um with a little cluster and uh, 20 pounds 77 pence for those three all together um this one has also bought three but they paid for it in three different transactions so i've had to do some postage refund and they have in this little brass flower shaped charm bracelet that was 3.99 this little Stainless steel ring, it's got uh, Roman numerals going around it, that was also $3.99 and $5.99 is this little beaded necklace. Um, next one is a Swarovski starburst ring, it's a fab ring that one, very kind of uh, atomic looking, um, <clears throat> pardon me, that's over £24. This little lassie pin. <coughs> You see, it actually says Lassie on that. That went for three ninety nine. This floral etched wide vintage bangle, seven pounds nineteen. This heavy copper chain bracelet with toggle clasp, twelve pounds. These etched, can you see them? This is copper. It's like an etched copper, and it's got little birds etched onto it. You can sort of see there. They went for a fiver. Oh, I've got a tickly cough now, haven't I? <coughs> Pardon me, why? This vintage abalone child's bracelet. That went for £6.50. A rope twist, um, just gold tone bracelet and necklace set, £7.19. From Avon, these kind of paisley patterned um, oh, brooch and earring set. £9.59, I think I, that's gone to another person that's bought a lot of things. Pardon me. I have to respend some more postage on that. This vintage tiger's eye panel bracelet, £9.59. This pearl and um, pumpkin-shaped carnelian beaded bracelet with a gold clasp. Little gold clasp, but look at the shape of them beads, they're cool. I went for £20. Sorry, one second. Had a good cough then. Um, beautiful. I remember picking this up. Like This is like perfect condition. 1950s glass beaded bag. Absolutely stunning. That sold for £77. I know I paid quite a bit for it when I first did pick it up, but it's worth it. This cool dragon, like Chinese dragon ring, £8.99. And then the same person that bought those has bought all of this jewellery, brooches, earrings, how to clip on earrings and stuff, £54.53. And then over on Etsy, two cells of gold, this little talk bangle, and then this lovely Celtic one. I'm going to go cough some more. I'll be back in a bit. And we're out and about, yes. I've been a good girl and I've done my post already. Went up to Brackler, walked all the way down, quick look through town, and now we're going to get on a bus. And I hope it comes soon, because I kind of want to get to Cowbridge and, uh, and go for a wee, because you really needed to know that. And just like that, we're here. And now we really need a wee. Anyway, we're going to do the charity shops first, because I've got to earn it. Tea Haven window, Royal Albert. £65, but to be fair, there's quite a bit of it there. A lot of Wedgwood. 
and something Kid Kidston. I don't know what's in there, but it's eight pounds. Okay, maybe not just yet. In that case, today we're going to head up this way first, walking past the elephant and bun, which as always smells delicious. And we're going to go to ten of us because it's open. And the last two times I was here, it's been closed. So we're going to head there first. Huzzah! And a little Easter window. Look at all the bunnies. Oh, there's some Lego. My brother needed some Lego. Sounds weird, but he wanted to make a spindle for something. I don't know. And some Care Bears and some more Lego. $9.99 a bag. I wonder. Mm. Okay, so I accidentally spent 60 quid in there. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, that was good going. She's like, best customer today. I'm like, oh, you're very welcome. They did have bags of Lego in there, so I sent a picture to my brother to see if, uh, see if he wants me to pick them up. But cancer research next, and then, and then we're gonna go for a drink and a wee. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's springtime. They always do have um, very nice dresses in here as well. Wow, vintage Gina Bacconi. That's not bad actually for Cowbridge, certainly. Hmm. And Steve Madden. Really? It's probably pony for the pony skin in that, as you imagine. Cute. Not silver, but it's so cute. Oh, that's quite nice. That's unusual. Fiver though. And who are you by? Is that John Richard, it looks like. Can't read that. Something like that, anyway. Hmm. They've also got this lovely nest heart and bag as well. Beautiful colours. That's very tempting. Nine pound fifty, but oh, it is nice. What have we got in the little specials cabinet? Little butterfly. I've got a few of them butterflies. A few little brooches. Thimbles. Quite a pretty ring, but I don't think it's um, a thing. And some spoons and stuff. Oh, a little cross. And a cruet set. Hmm, what's that? Oh, it's got a ton of cash in there as well. Oopsie. Yes, I did buy a bunch of stuff from that cabinet. Right, I am actually feeling quite hungry. Might go to the Duke of Wellington for some lunch and a wee. Oh my god! Right, I've had my wee. I've got my drink. What is it that I'm fancying today? Mmm. Mmm. That sounds nice though. Pan roasted chicken. Mmm. And this is my lunch. Shame there's evil peas on me. But mm, that looks quite nice actually. That wasn't as nice as it looked actually. There was one tiniest little bit of broccoli and then when I cut it open it was a bit pink in the middle and I was like I'm not sure if I can eat this. So nah, that's a shame because it smelled really nice. Uh, but I haven't got food poisoning now. <laughs> oh well I've got three more charity shops to do. Uh, my phone is running out of battery so I hope I get to film it all. Let's go. Dogs trust time. Oh, it's all three. Free introduction to lawn poles. How exciting. Wow. <laughs> and what have we got in the specials cabinet? Oh, that's a pretty ring. Blue appetite. 
So I got a few bits from it. Ooh, that's nice. Nice color. These are still here. I swear these were mine and I donated them. <laughs> Lots of folios. Ooh. Solid bronze. And for balance, the cat's protection. Look at the bunnies. Oh, that's a handsome bunny. I like him. And in the special cabinet, we've got a nice geode. Oh, I like the little pot. Oh my god, it really does so much. So nice to be out. Yes. Well, this has never happened before. So far, I've bought something from every single charity shop in Cowbridge. That's crazy. But we've got the expensive Tea Haven Emporium left. Will I find anything in there? Well, we're in. <laughs> Cold to wallop. Mm. Some ties. Mm. Wow, much less jewelry. It's all gone. Because it's all down here, that's why. Do we spot anything we like? It's a lot of vintage stuff, it's pretty cool. Mm. Maybe some pretties in here, but they're quite pricey. Can you count on the earrings there? Wow. 130 on that one. BBC News at 3 o'clock. This is oh, just the But it is beautiful. I've got a cute little brooch there. That necklace is a bit fab as well. And then, what's that? 180 on the white gold. Yeah, it was a pretty doll. And I'm not buying it, but I'm just showing you guys in case you ever see it. Oh my god. You've got Nessa, Shirley Bassey, Tom Jones, um, I'm guessing that's Gareth Edwards and Gareth Bale. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyways, battery's about to go and I've got to go home. I'm back home. That was an epic day shopping. That's such good fun. And um, yeah, I bought something in every shop in Cowbridge. I bought something in every shop in Cow well, not every shop in Cowbridge, every charity shop in Cowbridge. That never happens. Never, even, even in the really spenny Tea Haven place. Granted, I only spent four quid in there, but still, I bought something. Anyways, I am hungry. I'll tell mum about my lunchtime trauma in a minute, but we're having uh, meatballs. Here we go. At least I know this is cooked properly. Hello, yes, you're at a weird angle down there. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, today was such a good day of spending. It kind of made up for the rubbish lunch. It definitely made up for the rubbish lunch. What am I on about? It's, um, yeah. Take a look at my Instagram. She's the only one I got. Da -da -da -da. Um, yeah, I'm like super chuffed with like what I've got today. But uh, yeah, I will show you some of the other things that I bought. I did buy for three pounds a chipped silver bunny, but he is so cute. Yes, I know, but it's okay because he's a keeper anyway, because I bought him for us for Easter because I love Silvac bunnies 
and um, I don't have a blue one. I've got a green one and I have that tiny little one, but um, I like him. He can stay. So he was three pounds for one pound fifty. I've got a clock. I don't know if it works. I think it's silver plated, but I really liked it because it's got the cat and the moon on it. And I thought that was really, really sweet. So it's by, it's Big Time by Tick Tech England. Not heard of them. There you go. And then I got three plates, tiny little plates, two pound each. They're not worth loads, but again, I got them because they've got cats on them. Aren't they lovely? So I've got three of those and they are Minuets by C. Pradeli, especially made in fine porcelain, um, Portugal, 1985. That's what it says. But I thought they're nice someone might like them like i might put them in a whatnot show and offering them up as like you know you could use as a little trinket dish you know or a very very posh cat plate for their dinner um yeah also i do you know what happened today i had my delivery didn't i so um, there's this one and then there's another bag so i will record you guys on the YouTube's a little unbagging video for you to watch tomorrow because tomorrow I've got to do boring admin stuff like uh, all of our bills are coming in I've got to set up the direct debits and all that I've got to order meds I've got to do some listing I haven't done any listing today shit um all good it's all okay what am I gonna list <laughs> No, I've got to show you guys in the sparkly thing. The all this is going in a sparkly things video. Um, I'll find some into list. It's okay. Yeah. So I've had a cracking day today, other than lunch, but it's okay. Um, yeah. So enjoy the um, unbagging video tomorrow, and I shall see you again later in the week. Bye bye now. Bye bye.